Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Apocalypse 2. It is the morning of day 14. Last night I put another skill point into Skull Crusher and I had the parts needed to craft this level 4 steel sledgehammer, so that should be fun to mess around with today. But before we leave, let's get these forges turned on. This one is smelting down iron and lead. And this one, of course, is smelting down stone and crafting out some cement. So... Let's roll out of here. The first place I want to go to this morning is right back around to the Crack a Book vending machine. Let's see if we can grab some more loot candy out of here, and then we're going on a job for Rick. And I realize I fucked up in the last episode. Hold on. Eye candy. Beautiful. All right, now we are headed down to the wasteland, but like I was saying, I know I fucked up in the last episode. I was in such a rush to bang out all these jobs for Rick that I didn't realize when we took the job we're heading to right now, I had already unlocked the special quest that will take us to the third trader. But you know what? I'm not hanging around this morning and waiting for Rick to open up. Instead, I figure, let's just shoot down to the wasteland. We'll knock out this clear zombies quest. Then we'll go see Rick, get our reward. And then we'll take that special quest and go find out where this third trader is. And I swear, if this third trader is another Rick, I'm changing the name of this fucking series to Apocarix. These damn birds, it's like as soon as you get in the wasteland. Come here, you little bastard. Alright, here we are. Dog goes up and another bird. Eat shit, bird. Alright, let's run through this place. Same tactic as usual. Clear it out, get to the main loot, eat the loot candy, and work our way backwards looting. Got a monkey in there. Let's close that door. Here, monkey, hold this. Oh, nice loot bag. I love loot bags. See what we got in here? Some motor tool parts. Got some more of those back at home, and I would love to use them to craft an auger. Need to find that recipe, or an auger itself. That door's locked open, so we need to be careful here, because that door's locked open, too. And here come two dogs. Oh, come on. Nice. Um, yeah, I'd love to get my hands on an auger. And I think we have enough parts to craft one, if we can find the recipe. Checking behind paintings for wall safes because I do have a piece of jailbreaker candy and a lockpick on me in case we need to open up a safe or two. There's a dog. Close that door. There he is. Alright, here we go. Yeah, fuck off. Close that door. Let's dig up this cobblestone and cement before we go any further. All right, let's get up on the roof, and there should be a dog and sometimes a wolf up here. But if you get up on this duct work, you should be safe. Here we go. All right, I don't think they're going to jump up here. They're just going to keep attacking that block, which is fine. If I could fucking aim, they'd be dead already. There we go. Get one more on this dog. Yeah, fuck out of here. All right, and that's it. Let's uh, pop open these crates, we'll eat this loot candy, and we'll work our way back down the building looting, and then we'll get out of here. A whole bunch of decent shit in there, some gold and silver that we can sell, the front end to the motorcycle. All we need now is the chassis to the motorcycle, and we can craft one. However, I'll probably unlock that recipe with skill points anyway, because I also want to unlock the Jeep and the Gyrocopter as well. All of those vehicles are made from steel, though, so we're going to have to find ourselves a Crucible first, so we can start crafting steel. Oh, the Muffled Connector mod, we'll read that. And what do we got here? Craft Lanterns, Mining Hats, and Helmet Light mods. That's a good book to find uh, early on. We already have a Helmet Light mod, but now we can craft Lanterns. And uh, I'll tell you what, we got a little over a minute left in this loot candy. Let's not let it go to waste. Here we go. Surprise, Kenny! Ooh, level 5 pistol. Nice, got an ammo pile right here. Let's get into this crate. Oh, 
Oh shit. The zombies found their way up here. Uh, we got 15 seconds left. Come on, they're gonna make me lose out on that crate. Oh, damn it. Come on, five seconds. Let's go. Got it, a uh, level three fire axe. We already have a level three fire axe. Damn, we're taking all sorts of damage here. The things we do for loot in this game. All right, well, that worked out. Got a little bit more loot with that uh, loot candy. Level five pistol. It's better than the level two we had. Now, let's get out of here. We'll head home. We'll drop some stuff off. I also have some stuff there that I want to sell to Rick. We'll go see Rick, get our reward for that clear zombies quest, and go find this third traitor. Uh, we also need to stop at the base at some point. Now, a lot of you guys were telling me that the reason the concrete blocks weren't drying was because I wasn't in the area. But I've literally never heard of that before. Is that something new? Because I've never had that problem in the past. I've, I've always upgraded blocks and left and come back and, and they were dry. Or maybe I'm, I, I'm just not remembering correctly. Anyway, we need to stop back there before the horde because uh, there's one block in particular that I'm worried about and we're not gonna have time to get it to reinforced concrete. Look at this shit. Isn't the, isn't the wasteland just one giant piece of shit? God, I hate this place. Um, but yeah, there's one block in particular that we're definitely not going to have time to upgrade to reinforced concrete, so what I want to do is put some bars over it and upgrade the bars to iron. That'll give us some more hit points. You know what? I think if we take this road, we can go around this giant mountain that's to our left. This should take us back home here. All right, now... Oh, something else I meant to show you guys. These buttons were added with the new update. We are in B177, so if I click this button here, it will basically take anything I have in my inventory and fill it with stacks that are already in the storage box. You know what I'm saying? So any items that are already in the box that I have in my inventory, I can click this button and it will automatically add those items to the stacks that are already in storage, or I can use this button to the right that will just drop everything into storage. And the button all the way to the left, that is now the Organize Your Inventory button. It's no longer the backpack. Alright, do we have any uh, sugar butt candy? We do. Let's grab that, and let's go see Rick. Hey, what's up, Rick? Why didn't you tell me you had that special job for me in the last episode? Man, you made me look like an idiot. Guess I'll take another level 3 double barrel. Probably sell that back to him now, but you know what? I think I'll hang on to that. For the time being. Um, oh shit, the sugar butt candy. What an idiot. Let's use this first. Then we'll sell him the rest of this shit. And then we'll figure out where this third trader is. Hopefully it's uh, less than nine minutes away. Because I'm sure that other trader is going to have stuff we're going to want to buy. And we can utilize this uh, better bartering candy with uh, the third trader as well. What do you got, Rick? Let's take his gunpowder. Anything else worth buying? Uh, this is getting into the stuff I sold him now. Let's check his stash. Hmm. No. Alright. Special job. Opening up the trader route. Let's do it. No matter what, I'm grateful. Okay, a little over two kilometers away to the west. That'll be a decent ride, but we got time to kill. It's still early. Hey, what's up, Rack? Stop staring, asshole. Well, okay, all right. Calm down, old man. Yeah, take your reward and get Let's the check his inventory. Now, a lot of people give wrecked shit because, well, he's a dickhead. But you can't blame him. He's an old grumpy man. You think this is how he wanted to spend his golden years? Being a traitor in the apocalypse? If I was in his shoes, I'd be a grumpy asshole also. Later, wrecked. Try not to die while I'm gone. I picked up this book from him. This gives uh, fully automatic weapons uh, a greater chance of ragdolling enemies, so I thought that could be fun. Let's check his vending machine. Get the rock busters and the sugar butts, and that's it. 
Uh, you know what? Before we leave, let's see if there's anything we might want to rob from this old bastard. Alright, let's get out of here. And you know, I joke around a lot about robbing the traders. I rob Rick all the time, and it's funny. This is a game. It's just a joke. But in real life, don't fucking rob anyone, okay? I'm not promoting that shit at all. Other than harming someone physically, it's like the worst thing you can do to someone. People work hard for their shit, and then some person comes along and thinks they can just take it from them? Fuck that person. And you know what? I used to be that person. That's right. I was young and dumb and did dumb shit, but robbing and stealing got me nothing but trouble. And if you work hard for the stuff you want, when you get it, you'll appreciate it more. So, Glock 9's life advice for the day? Don't fucking steal, motherfuckers. Hey, what's up, Rick? Thankfully, Hello, you sent me to Wrecked and not Rick number three. Otherwise, I was going to have to change the name of my goddamn series. Well, all these jobs are fairly I'm far away. We'll take this one, I guess. It is the closest the one. But we're at hour 14 here. Oh, damn it. This is down in the wasteland again. All right. We'll do it. Just not today, though. Let's stop home, grab the wood bars and forged iron I have in storage, head over to the base, get those installed, and uh, see if that concrete has dried. All right, here we are. And no, this shit's still wet. Fuck, I guess you guys are right. Maybe it won't cure if I'm not in the area. Anyway, uh, let me show you the block I'm concerned about. This is what I think zombies are going to do. They're going to come up here. They're going to stop right here and beat on this block. And if they destroy it, I'm pretty sure they're going to take out this hatch with it. And then we're really screwed. Oh, shit. Wolf. Okay. Now, like I was saying, I'm concerned about this block, but there's no way we can get it to reinforced concrete before the horde shows up, so I'm just going to throw some bars on it, upgrade them to iron, and that will give us 2,500 more hit points of protection there, and I think that's plenty. I want to throw some bars up here as well. I'm not going to upgrade these to iron, but it'll provide a little bit more protection for that block up there. And then I want to get on top of this structure and put bars on top. Now, I think the structure is too tall for the zombies to get over, even if they do pile up on top of each other. But just in case, we're going to throw some bars up there. You can never be too safe. You know what I mean? Bars cost hardly anything to make. And if a few of them can possibly save your life, then use them. Use as many as you can. There you go. That should definitely keep zombies from getting over the structure. And that's it. I think we're good to go here. Um, I kind of wanted to stick around for a little bit so those wet concrete blocks will dry. But you know what? We'll be back later. It's only hour 15 and a half. Let's find some place to loot. Right in town here. Something we can do relatively quickly. How about doggos again? Fuck it. Let's do it. This place goes quick. And there's some decent loot up on the rooftop. I know I'm always talking shit about, you know, uh, looting the same place twice or being repetitive. But listen, we're just going to do this quickly. I'll edit most of it out. And uh, we'll grab the main loot. Then we'll go home, gear up for the horde, and go have a fight. There's one of those Magnum books. Which one is that? Better bartering. 5% better deal when you have a magnum in your hand. You know, and I've been avoiding magnums because I really want the Desert Eagle. But if we find one, or if I can find the level 1 that's cheap to buy, fuck it, we'll get one now, just for the better bartering. Here we go, let's see if we can do this again. There's one. There's two. Man, two dogs and a double barrel shotgun. You better not fuck up. That's the one bad thing about a double barrel. I probably should be carrying two of them with me. We have enough of them, you know what I mean? That would give us at least four shots before we have to reload. But whatever, we're fine. I think I did find the schematic for a pump shotgun, though. And we can probably scrap enough of these to where we can craft one of those. I think you need steel for a pump shotgun, but that's alright. If we don't find a crucible soon, we can go take apart streetlights for the steel that we'll need. Oh 
shit. Two more dogs. Oh, we fucked up this time. Not good. Get out the window. What was I just saying? Stupid double barrel. Oh, one of them is dead. And he's dead too. But we're infected and it looks like we have, what is that? A concussion? Yep, you have suffered a concussion. And I believe we need uh, painkillers to cure that up or we have to wait two hours. There we go. Take those now. That'll cure up the concussion and get us back to full health. Let's get on the roof now. We're gonna have another dog and a wolf to deal with. Right? Yep. Let's do the same thing. There we go. Later, fuckers. Ooh, nice. A bunch of good shit in there. The tactical assault rifle schematic and the, the pump shotgun schematic, which is already red. So like I said, we did read that pump shotgun schematic. Let's go ahead and read this one. And uh, I'll have to take a look at how many shotgun parts we have and if we have enough to craft that shotgun. If we do, we'll figure out how much steel we need to craft it and we'll get that. I, I want to put a few more points into Boomstick, though, before we craft one. This way we can at least craft like a level three. All right, let's grab uh, an antibiotic and cure up this infection. I know I had an herbal antibiotic on me, but those cure dysentery too, whereas the regular antibiotics just cure the infection. So I figure, what the hell, we'll hold on to that herbal antibiotic in case we ever wind up shitting ourselves from dysentery. I gotta go grab the mini bike too, we ran out of gas right over here. I mean, we were close enough to home, where it's not really a problem. Right here, it's fucking, I tapped out of gasoline. Let's get this thing home, and let's gear up for the horde and get over to the base. I put the uh, robotic sledge down there at ground level. I don't think it's going to do much, but I was just curious to see if it would, like, push zombies away from that first step as they're trying to run up the stairs. It's definitely not going to stop the zombies. It might slow them down a bit. But we'll see. It's more of a test than anything. Which, uh, oh shit, I forgot to put Junkie in place. Let's go do that. Oh, and you know what? Junkie's probably gonna disable the sledgehammer from working, because you can't have two turrets going at the same time. At least not yet, anyway. Not until we max out turret syndrome. But whatever, because you know what? When Junkie runs out of ammo, then the sledgehammer turret should kick on. Alright, here we go. Junkie's ready to go. Sledgehammer's in place. Ooh, sounds like Junkie's shooting at him already. And, and he's got a different audio. It sounds like he has a silencer attached to him, but he doesn't. The only uh, attachment I put on him was the drum magazine. So even though he's a level one, he's got a pretty decent sized magazine right now. And this is working out exactly as it should. They're all coming to the steps. Let's get some fire down there. Whoops. What if we throw it from back here at a little angle like that? That should have ended up at the bottom of the steps. Here we go. Here are the zombies, they're all on fire. And uh, this is working out beautifully. At this point, they'll be attacking those bars we put in. And when they break the bars, they'll start attacking the block. At any point, we can pop up the uh, hatches if we need to. I really don't think we're going to need four hatches in place, but I figured, what the hell. Better to be safe than sorry. All those things costed were a bit of iron, and we got plenty of iron. Oh, oh I thought that monkey was, was going to crawl through that opening, but he didn't. All right. So far, so good. Oh, this is too easy. It's like I can just wait for them to get all the way to the top of the steps and then blow their heads off. Come here, monkey. Let me shoot you in the ass. Dead. What'd I say, man? Simple but effective. I probably should have brought the sledgehammer with me tonight, though. We could be using the shit out of that thing right now. But that's all right. I don't mind using our ammo. Let's go get Junkie reloaded. Here we go. And yeah, I mean... 
I used to be concerned with how much ammo I was using and try to conserve it as much as I could, but I don't do that shit anymore. I just go off on the zombies, and if I use all the ammo, then I get more ammo. That's the whole fucking point of the game. You know, I've seen plenty of base designs that require little to no ammo to get yourself through the horde, but then what? You guys want to see me sit in the corner with my thumb up my ass all night? I've said this before, that might sound like a good time, but it's going to get boring real fast. Oh, that didn't work. There we go, I think that second one got through the opening there. I set the whole front of our base on fire. But the zombies are on fire, so that's all that matters. Oh, shit, I got too close. Now I'm on fire. And I have no water with me. Fuck, dude. Stop, drop, and roll. Oh my god, we gotta stop, drop, and roll. Karma has come back to haunt me. Oh, shit. Alright, there we go. 38 hit points we're down to, though. That's not good. We better use a first aid bandage. Oh, shit. Fucking birds. I, uh, should have been... Oh! I'm out of ammo there. Come here. Alright, yeah, I should have built, uh, some sort of roof over Junkie here. This way I wouldn't have to worry about birds when coming out here to reload. Didn't think about it. I definitely overused resources for this base, though. I can tell you that right now. There's no reason these walls here need to be reinforced concrete. We definitely didn't need to put in this many hatches, but you know what? I got tons of concrete left at home. We can harvest a whole bunch more iron. Not a big deal. Like I said earlier, it is better to be safe than sorry, but like I also said in a previous episode, we really need to manage our resources better if we're going to be doing a new base every horde night. You know what I mean? Because the less resources we would have used on this base, the more we will have for the next one. Man, the full auto on the pistol is so nice. This thing is a beast too. A sweet that we found a level 5 today. Oh, what's wrong with us? What, are we sick? We got a little icon down there. Fatigued? We're fatigued? What the fuck is that? I'm tired? We're not hungry or thirsty. You think that comes from, uh, constantly shooting like this? That's, uh, that's strange. Alright, I mean, I think it just, like, makes us move a little bit slower, so as long as we don't fall down there, we should be good. Yeah, that junky sledgehammer down there really isn't doing shit at ground level. There are better ways to make use of that thing. Ooh, loot bag. 600 bucks, I'll take it. Uh, and to tell you the truth, I really didn't even think about it at the time that it wasn't going to work alongside junky. You know, I figured the junk turret and the sledgehammer were two different things. I thought I could honestly have them both working at the same time, but apparently you can't do that. Well, I still hear zombies, but I don't see any. It sounds like they might be stuck inside the building. Well, let's pick up Junkie. Get him reloaded. We'll keep him on our tool belt in case we need to drop him down. And let's bring down our frames. We'll build some steps right here. Coming off those steps. There we go. And let's get down here. Yeah, they're definitely inside the building. I'm going to pick up the sledge turret also. Just in case we have to put Junkie down, I don't want the sledge turret interfering with Junkie working. You know what I mean? Might as well grab these loot bags. Oh, this is so dangerous. Here we go. And you're dead. There's still another one inside the building, though. Let's grab this loot bag. Okay. Got a couple of more over here. Bam. And bam. And we're fatigued still. So this is not the smartest move. They're definitely in here. Here we go. You're dead. 
And there's another one right there. All right. I think that's it. I don't hear anymore. Let's get back up here, though, just in case. Give it a little bit of time. And if no more show up in a little bit, then we'll head home. And that's where we'll pick things up on the morning of day 15. Let's get under here, though, so no birds can attack us. And I want to take a closer look at that fatigued debuff and see what that's all about. Take 10% more damage from all attacks. Eat vitamins to cure this. Oh, we have vitamins. There we go. We're not fatigued anymore. Take your fucking vitamins, kids. What is this? Increased projectile speed and range by 15%, dude. We can throw a spear faster and longer now. That's cool. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure that's it for the Horde Knight. Like I said, I'm going to hang out here for a little bit longer, make sure we're all done. Then I'm going to grab my torches and head home, and that's where we'll pick things up on the morning of day 15. And on day 15, I think I want to go raid that shotgun messiah with the gun range that's right here in town. I've been avoiding that place because I've been wanting to get my game stage up a little bit higher, but... That's it. I'm done fucking ignoring that place. So we're going to raid it in the next episode. But that's going to be it for this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Apocalypse 2. And I will catch you guys in the next one.